Have you ever walked through an art gallery and wished everything was for sale? Well, this holiday season, the Watermark Art Gallery in Bemidji does just that. For this week's In Focus, reporter Betsy Moline has more. The Watermark Art Center is no stranger to the shifting requirements of a gathering space throughout this year. But when they learned that galleries could not be open but retail spaces could, they came up with a creative solution. We were not allowed to have uh, exhibits because it's a gathering place, but they allowed galleries or museums that had retail to be open for just their retail. So our store was a little bit smaller and so we were able to open that up and make it a little bit bigger. While keeping their small galleries closed, they converted their largest gallery space into an active art market, which changed their capacity from 4 to 40. Also meaning that now all of the art on display is purchasable. They can come in, they can look around, and it's not just the small retail store, it's the Lakeview Gallery and the Call Gallery that are all the work is available for purchase. That includes work from over 50 artists working in a variety of mediums from cards to clay. One of the pieces displayed this year that gives back to the community is entitled River of Spoons, which is made up of individual porcelain spoons for sale via suggested donation, where all of the proceeds go to the Bemidji Community Food Shelf. The artists come from around the state, but with a focus on those closer to the Bemidji community. So their work comes from Duluth area, and the Twin Cities probably is the farthest away. Uh, some of them are in the St. Croix Pottery Tour area. So those are the artists that we've worked for, worked with in the past. Supporting local artists means more than just a one-of-a-kind gift. Everything is original. Everything is one-of-a-kind. Uh, the artists, it's handmade. Uh, it's unique. Uh, so I think you're giving the gift of art, but it also is supporting when you buy a, a piece of art from the Watermark Art Center or any artist, you're supporting that individual business person. And you're also supporting uh, programming at the Watermark Art Center. Reporting in Bemidji for this week's In Focus, Betsy Moline, Lakeland News. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.